Evil Twin is a cinematic tool for sound designers and musicians. You can use it to create stunning stingers, whooshes, drones, granular effects, BPM synced rhythmic loops, and sonic sample chaos. One of the most unique things about Evil Twin is the added flexibility and modulation control. All knobs that have modulation rings can be modulated by an LFO and an envelope. To make Evil Twin activate and start playing sound, you will need to hit the trigger button at the top of Evil Twin. Or use any MIDI keyboard, or in standalone mode, you can also use your computer keyboard to trigger Evil Twin sound playback. <laughs> There are three LFOs and three envelopes to choose from. To select the LFO envelope modulating the desired ring, click on the LFO selector or envelope selector buttons. To control the amount of modulation, adjust the LFO or envelope ring. All the LFO's speed can be either set in hertz or in beats. The speed mode can be changed by clicking the LFO speed mode button. You can select five different LFO shapes by clicking the LFO shape button. The envelopes can be used as step sequencers by adjusting the number of steps with the step slider. You can smooth the steps of an envelope by activating the smooth button. This will interpolate the values between steps. The envelopes have two different drawing modes, free drawing and auto curve. When you are in free drawing mode, simply draw on the envelope which will adjust the level of each step individually. When in auto curve mode, a curve will be created automatically with its peak at the mouse position. You can select either between a symmetric curve or an asymmetric curve. You can also adjust the curve amount by using the curve slider. There are three groups each containing two sounds. Loops A and loops B sounds will constantly loop while the impact sound will only trigger once. You can set whether the loops restart from the beginning or resume from where it stopped when it is re-triggered by changing the play mode. Each sound can be played in reverse if the reverse button is pressed down. In loops A, B, and impacts, you select the sample you want to play in those areas by going to the sample knob. If the MIDI note is held, the time bar will remain on the position of the impacts trigger bar until the note is released. You can adjust the impacts trigger by moving the impacts trigger knob. You can also select whether a sound from the impacts group gets triggered on arriving or departing the impacts trigger bar by changing the trigger mode. The trigger can be done automatically when the end is reached by turning loop on. You can also make the sound pitch scale to the MIDI keyboard pitch. The current pitch will be used as C4. The time it takes for the time bar to cross the envelopes can be controlled by adjusting the time knob, located in the top general settings. You can set the time knob in either S mode, seconds, or beat mode. In beat mode, you can select a musical duration, two bars, one bar, quarter note, etc. In beat mode, the duration will be dependent on the master BPM of reactor. I will now play a few presets from Evil Twin so you can get an idea of how it sounds. That concludes the tutorial for Evil Twin. Hope you enjoy. If you have any more questions, you can also download the manual directly from the Evil Twin product page at www.soundmorph.com. Thank you and hope you enjoy. <laughs>